We're Adam and Joanne from InspiredTaste.net, and welcome to our kitchen. We are making our coconut ginger vegetable curry. It's bright, flavorful, and easy to make. If you love cooking and haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all of our recipes. Okay, let's make this curry. Start by slicing the veggies. We will need one onion, one potato, half of a head of cauliflower, two medium carrots, a handful of green beans, and a few small tomatoes. As you can see, we slice the vegetables into pretty large pieces. This keeps a nice variety of texture in the curry. You can substitute or add veggies if you'd like. Now for extra flavor, we need a tablespoon each of minced garlic and ginger. We are using fresh ginger and need to peel it before mincing. A spoon is great for this. By the way, another option here is to grate the ginger. If you don't want to mince it with a knife like me, simply run it over the microplane instead. For the full recipe and extra tips, visit Inspired Taste. Over at the stove, heat a tablespoon or so of oil in a wide skillet or wok. Add the onion, cauliflower, and carrots, and then cook, stirring occasionally until they start to soften and take on a bit of color. Now toss in the garlic, ginger, and three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric. Give everything a stir so that the ginger and garlic have a chance to hit the bottom of the pan a few times. Next, add one and a half tablespoons of red curry paste. This is store-bought, but you can make your own if you'd prefer. When the curry paste has had a chance to coat most of the veggies, Add the potatoes and a whole can of full fat coconut milk, as well as a cup of water. Full fat coconut milk is best for this since it makes the curry extra creamy. Bring the curry to a simmer and cook until the veggies are tender and then add the tomatoes and green beans. We add these last because they only need a few minutes to cook. Last but not least, add one tablespoon of fish sauce, the juice of one lime, and a handful of chopped cilantro. If you cannot eat fish sauce, check the article on Inspired Taste for alternatives. And that's it. Easy, veggie-packed coconut curry. It's absolutely delicious and perfect when served over a bed of rice or with some flatbread to soak up all of that sauce. As always, the full recipe with lots of tips is on Inspired Taste. Enjoy. If you love this recipe, take a look at some of our other veggie pack dishes, like our homemade veggie burgers or our fresh veggie spaghetti. Thanks for watching. If you love this video, we have lots more. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. We're at Inspired Taste.